until you've just got to see. It's the amazing red planet next to the rocks. Cydnesium ore were discovered on the planet New Ares. The Beta Earth Colonial Mining Company sent small colonies to this frozen, forbidding place to mine its enormous resources. Some were drawn to the possibility of great wealth. Others came for the promise of a vast frontier. For others, the world they left behind was a corrupt and failing place. But the colonists found this world harsh and unforgiving. The nature of their labors left little time for exploration. They were ignorant of the life forms native to New Ares. And where there is ignorance, there is fear. But for one young man, his life and the life of his colony would depend upon an act of courage. The courage it takes to be a friend. Here on Red Planet.
TJ? Told you I could fix it, Dad. Now, how am I going to manage when you and Jim take off for Lowell Academy tomorrow? I know a way. Don't make me go. Not go to the Academy? <laughs> I don't think so, sister. I saw how hard you worked to skip two grades. <laughs> That's what I mean, Dad. I'll be in Jim's class and all. The 12-year-old dweeb. The other kids will think I'm weird. No, they'll think you're smart. <laughs> Which you are. End of issue. Dad, you're so surreal. <laughs> That's a good thing, right? Hey, you two. Someone needs to get home and get packed. So, how's the best-looking doctor on New Aries? Well, I'll ask Dr. McRae next time I see him. <laughs> oh, you mean me? Come here, I'll show you. Class 4 decompression at Dome 20. Let's go. Jim, this is not about school or Willis. It's about you. So, I can't take Willis to Lowell Academy with me because some minor went crazy with a hazer. Is that it? Son, not every colonist is, well, comfortable with Willis. And that puts you at risk. We're the visitors here. Has anyone ever asked Willis if he's comfortable with us? Well, then maybe it's time we... Well, you remember what we talked about. What? To kick Willis out and let him take his chances with the water seekers? Or worse? I guess the storm's knocked out the fences. What if there are locals out there? Locals? Honey, you know they don't exist. Now look, Jim, I'm gonna spell it out. When you're with Willis, you're in danger. It may not be fair, but that's the way it is. This is his planet. We don't know how Willis lived here. Well, till now, anyway. Maybe he's supposed to take his chances out there. Fine. Why don't we ask Willis? Willis! Willis! There he is! No! Willis! Miners shouldn't be passing out from a class 4 decompression. There's something in the mines that's compromised their systems. And it's getting worse the deeper they dig. Hmm. You look like someone who's just made up a mind about something, boss. The company's been stonewalling me for months. They don't send follow-up charts on the sick miners they rotate back to Beta Earth. They ship me wrong, Labrick, and they won't release records. Hey, Dr. Marlow, I'm on your side, remember? Then maybe you'll enjoy this. The company can play hardball, softball, spaceball, I don't care. 
Mac, people's lives are at stake here. You're sending an emergency transmission. The company should know right away. By my authority as chief medical officer for South Colony, I am declaring a code three emergency. Dr. McCrae, until we figure out what's making the miners ill, I'm shutting down the mines. Hmm. Let me tap my John Hancock on it, too. We'll make it more official. But I'd like the boys on Peter Earth to know we're in agreement on this thing. If there is something in the mines, well, I'm glad Jim and PJ are leaving in the morning. Headmaster. Uh, though I hope that over time you will come to think of me as a friend. Your best friend. Your best friend. All right, you're ready, PJ. The stupid player's jammed. Like everything the company sends us. Nice job unpacking. We're not at home, are we, pajamas? Don't come yet, Junior. <sighs> Worried about Willis, huh? Maybe. <coughs> Not funny pajamas. That wasn't me! <coughs> Willis! Willis, where are you? Willow, stay, Jim! Willis? How's she getting there? <laughs> Who cares? Mr. Marlowe, unauthorized female in your dorm room. An additional demerit. Sir, she's my sister. Phyllis Jane Marlowe. Then you'll receive the requisite demerit also, Ms. Marlowe. I expect full compliance with all Academy regulations in future. Step aside. That's an order, mister. Uh, around it. Oh, I've never seen one in captivity before. Sir, I can explain. I mean, this is my friend, Willis. He's not in captivity, oh. sir. He's my friend. I, I rescued him, well, sort of, when I took out that water seeker last year. Willis, stay, Jim! How extraordinary. Like a parrot. No, sir. He can really talk. Mind you, keep this room secure. We don't want... <laughs> Willis. Wandering the halls. And let's forget about the demerits for today. Gives me the creeps. How about you, Willis? You heard me correctly. There's a roundhead here, now. Some colony doctor's trying to shut down the mines. You deliver a roundhead and the company will kiss you on the lips. Just reassign me off this rock. That's all the recompense I require. A cargo ship's leaving for Beta Earth tomorrow. Make sure your friend is on it, <laughs> and we can write our own ticket. We? Schoolmaster, <laughs> you can settle for a reassignment. I plan to make some money off this thing. We'll ship it tomorrow. Tomorrow, then. about catching a break. Our timing with this roundhead couldn't be better. The, the company is eager to acquire a roundhead because a South Colony doctor has closed the mines? You got any idea what it's costing the company to keep those mines shut down? 
but it's not for much longer. The company plans to handle the good doctor. You, but weren't the miners getting ill? <laughs> they were dropping like flies. But the cynesium ore they were getting was making the company billions. Now you take your basic roundhead. As far as the company can figure, nothing phases them. The boys back on Beta Earth figure they've got some sort of special gland. If the company can get its hands on a live roundhead, then the lab coach can hack out the gland and clone some sort of serum for the miners. Might not save the miners, but it'll keep them going longer. Oh, an inoculation for the miners so they can return to the mines. Oh, elegant. It, but what about the roundhead? What about the roundhead? This thing has a one-way ticket to Beta Earth. What? Doctor has closed the mines. Company plans to handle the good doctor. Dropping like flies to basic roundhead special plan. Hack out the gland. Might not save the miners. What's it doing? Get me a welder. That thing. It's recorded everything we've said. Where he's going, no one will hear it. are due by 9.30 tomorrow morning. You figure out why they stuck you with kitchen duty? <laughs> well, I didn't burn out a microcomputer like you did, if that's your question. Ha ha. Don't you think it's kind of weird that you got hit with KP out of the blue? Willis? Willis! What's that? Where? PJ, turn off the lights! Hal's got him. Come on. Twenty seconds. Nineteen. Eighteen seconds. Look, Hal is not in sight anywhere. You can't just go out and look for him. It's a hundred below. You'd freeze solid. Oh no, your air gauge is busted. Man, it must have happened when I slammed my scooter into the miner's dome. I can fix it in two minutes, okay? Come on, two minutes. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Ignition. Terminate ignition. Catastrophic decompression in transport bay two. Repeat. Terminate ignition. Who's in your room? Hey, Willis! Willis, what happened? Are you all right? Doctor has closed the mines. Company plans to handle the good doctor. Dropping like flies to basic roundhead special plan. Hack out the gland. Might not save the miners. But it's Mom. She's the doctor they're talking about. Jim, we have to warn her. People aren't going to make it. It'll be another week before the satellite dishes are back up. Maybe I could rig a low beam signal. If I can get to my scooter, Willis and I can make it by night. Make it where? To South Colony? Are you nuts? They're talking hundreds of miles. Look, they're going after Mom. Maybe everybody, understand? Well, at least your air gauge is working. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay, the school's locked down. Jim, if you leave, you'll sell every alarm in the place. There goes my head start. Not if you follow me. The roundhead's escaped. It's over then. Why, Mr. Howe, the party's just started. This is your brilliant idea? The garbage chute? Oh. It's the only way out that won't stop the alarms. Good luck, Junior. Thanks. Pajamas. Who's that? There's no authorized riding at this hour. security. Get me a tracker. We have a runaway. Look! That's Marlowe! And he's got the
around it. Is that you? I'm coming with you. It's too dangerous. Okay, uh, just this once. Join us for more incredible adventure on the all-new miniseries Red Planet. Right after X-Men, next Saturday morning on Fox. And don't forget, detectives, I, Carmen San Diego, will return with my greatest caper yet in just three weeks on Fox. Great science fiction writers, check out your local library.